Now, welcome to both of you. Thank you for coming in. Thank now, I mean, and Daisy, this isn't your first book adaptation. I think millions of people will know you for normal people. But for the people who aren't familiar with Where the Crawdads Sing, can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, so Where the Crawdads Sing centres on a young girl called Kaya, um, who grows up alone in the marsh after she's abandoned by her family. And she's kind of ostracised by the people who live in the town. And so when the body of a young boy is found, um, she is the first to be accused of his murder. Yeah. It's such it's such a beautiful film. It looks beautiful, and then it's got this notebook esque kind of feel about it. But then it's got this who done it murder mystery, like you talk about it. Uh, Harris from the trailer, it looked like well, it looked like a pretty wild place to film, was it? It was. It was bizarre. Like there was times where I don't know about you, Daisy, but like we, it's a strange day at work when you're like driving around on a boat in, in a marsh. You know, like <laughs> we, we were like two Brits driving around in this like <laughs> absurd environment. It was mad, but. Beautiful place to film, yeah. Mm. It's amazing. And as we can hear, you guys aren't from South America. Like, was it difficult to master that accent? Uh, yeah, it was, because we had to do, obviously, a North Carolina accent. It would have been strange if we were both just, like, properly North London, <laughs> just in the marsh. So, yeah, it was important to get that right and, it, and for it to be authentic as well and sound kind of, um, yeah, right for the character. So, for me, it, I found it was quite helpful to access quite a, like, gentle quality to mm. Kaya, because it is naturally quite... A gentle accent I found. And what was like the hardest thing to like say in an American accent? I had to I had to run out of a house and scream, um, get out of my lagoon, you low down dirty creep. Oh which wow. I found. That's, that's a tongue twister itself. <laughs> it is. Let alone and in they an kept accent. going a wee bit Australian. That that was the that was the most challenging. Can you still do it? Oh no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. I got snapped into it again. <laughs> now the book is one of the best sellers of all time. So a lot of people will have their own opinion and very clear opinion on it. That must have been very difficult for you guys as actors to, to try and make it your own. Yeah, it's definitely a, it's definitely always a pressure when you're bringing to life a book adaptation because you know so many people love the character yeah. and the story already. So you just kind of hope you can capture the tone of the story really and, and mm. then accept that it's always going to be a little different. Mm. Yeah. It's impossible to adhere to everyone's idea of a story as well, so you've kind of just got to go at it with a, a pair of fresh eyes and rely on the, the filmmakers, you know? Mm. Mm. And this film was a real passion project for Reese Witherspoon as well, who produced the film. Like, when, what was it like working with her? Because she's so passionate about putting women at the forefront of film, which is really exciting. It really is. I, I think that's something I really admire about Reese. I mean, I, I've been a huge fan of Reese's since I was little, so to kind of work with her was wild. Um, but that's really what she wants to do with her production company. She wants to put women at the forefront of her stories, but also behind the camera as well. We had a, a lot of our, if not all of our heads of department were women. And, and this is a story about female empowerment and for the women to feel empowered behind the camera too is really, really cool. Mm. Did you get time to work with Reese on set uh, in the yeah, film? She came to visit, didn't she? Yeah, it, that, that was, I felt a bit scared when she came. It was like it had a layer of pressure because mm. she's southern as well it's like yeah you really don't want to be getting it wrong you know on those days the but... accent for sure <laughs> did she give you any um, accent tips or anything she no she didn't she was very i think she i think she approved i think she liked what what we were doing but yeah. it was really exciting to see her sort of take in um the set too because obviously when i when i saw kaya's shack in particular that that was such mm. so vivid in my imagination when i read the book so i was mm. so impressed by how they designed it and then it was really cool to see we see it for the first time too 